Hi, welcome back to NMI. Today we're going to take a look at what you should not do on an Apple II. I'm also going to show you how to undo those silly things that I did. And we're also going to take a look at how we can fix the keyboard. That as we saw in the previous video, some uh, keys were stuck, some keys were not working. So we're going to completely disassemble the keyboard and uh, fix it properly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to it, shall we? So, when I was reassembling my Apple IIe, I made a mistake that I think it's uh, common, or reasonably common. This board is mounted like this, inside the Apple II on the slot, and the disk drives, they connect here, right? So what happened was that I did not remove, and that's my main mistake, I did not remove this board. I tried to connect it inside the case and I didn't notice that I did this. So instead of connecting it, all the pins like this the alignment alignment was correct but I skipped one row and I connected it like this right and then what happens is that when I turned the machine on I heard a pop and smell of smoke and of course that's not good and then I noticed that my drives were not working. So I removed everything, tested the drive. When I removed the board, I noticed that the, the I noticed the the mistake that I made, and um, I then tested the other drive that was con correctly connected and apparently that drive is good and I think this board is still good so but this drive this is drive 2 this drive is bad right so I'm gonna try to fix it first thing we're gonna do is to open it and uh, for some reason there are only two screws here so let's remove the screws um whoa yeah, it's very clear the problem. Look at this. There, there is a hole on this IC. And this is... 74LS125. There's another CA3146, ULN203, yeah, I have one, I have a multiple chips like this, so this is damaged, I, I can, I have spares, that one is what? Um, MC what? I can't quite read. 
Yeah, but well, we we can see that this guy here is very badly damaged. So let's try removing and replacing him. I guess I'm I believe I have a few spares of this one too. So let's take a look. Look at this. These legs are <laughs> darkened here too. Um, MC three four seven zero. Okay, but let's take a look. I think I have a spare, so let's try a spare and see what happens. I hope the controller board is still working, so we're gonna soon find out. Here we have some of my TTL ICs. And let me see. Oh, good. We have a couple. Let, let me see if these are one, two, fives. Oops. No, this is one, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. So that's not it. LS125, cool, good. Oh, forgot. Oh, yeah, there are two. Okay, let's install this one. Make sure that there's no short. Looks good. Okay. Oh, that is <laughs> that is an old regulator. I think. I'm not sure if this is a regulator or maybe a transistor. Q1. Oh, it's a transistor. Oh, never saw this packaging. Yeah, look at this board, the PCB. I don't know, it's kind of... I don't know, interesting design. It's almost like it's... Uh, I don't know, hand draw? This is probably the connector to the head. Yeah. It goes. These wires go there to the the head. There's only one head. Okay. So let's bring the machine and make sure. Well, let's test it. I need to clean this up. Yeah, not now. First, let's see if it's working. I'm gonna connect this external monitor here. So here we have the board, the controller. We 
have the drive. Let's make sure this time that we connect it. Well, this is gonna be now drive one, so I'm gonna connect it on the top. The problem when you try to connect it in place like this is that it's very hard to reach that second slot so I think it's very common to misconnect so lesson learned always remove the controller board the interface the disk 2 interface card always remove it make all the connections and install it back let's connect power okay so Apple 2 if I press control reset is like stuck so it's always pressed control we have cursor if we try catalog there's no disk inserted okay that's what is expected now we try a disk and catalog again okay so PR number five okay catalog okay so we are reading the disk there is a bunch of files I don't know exactly what they are animals num of files doer renumber renumber instructions muffin no idea but anyway uh, oh there is integer basic there's a demo okay let's try another disk I got these discs from Stuart, so thanks Stuart. Uh, without you I wouldn't have any software to run in here. So if I do catalog again, is it gonna read the new disc? Oh, I owe error. Let's try PR number five. Oops. Five. Um, nothing. Okay, PR number five. Oh, there's nobody home. Catalog again. Oh, is it dead? Okay, let's try reset the machine. The disk is not shaking this time. Now let's try something else. Let's install the two drives. We have this drive here. So this is going to be drive two. 
and this time I'm connecting it correctly because I learned the lesson and let's take drive one fortunately I have two drives so I'm gonna put drive one under drive two just for now and we're gonna connect drive one on here so we have drive one and drive two they're correctly connected aligned double check now the want to damage another IC hopefully it was just the IC apparently that's what it happened let's take our monitor here and turn the machine on let's try this uh, drive one there's nothing there okay control reset oh the disk is still here so let's try this disk on drive one now number five is it gonna do the same thing yeah I guess so maybe that disk is not okay that is what it looks like before reassembling the machine I decided to clean it up properly because as you could see it is really dirty and I also decided to take a look at the keyboard and fix or try to fix the keys right the reset key was stuck and some keys were not working like number two so I decided to give it a try disassemble the keyboard and fix it
This is number two. Oh, the key's broken. So this is why reset was stuck. Okay, so that should be possible to fix this key, but what about this one? What is wrong with this one? Okay, so it's still working. Probably it's just the mechanics here. Nothing wrong. Not that I can see. And the contact looks the same. Same position and everything. some contact cleaner
Yes. So. So this key is fixed. Okay, I guess it's time for some super glue and baking soda. Now we need to resolder everything. Oh yeah, I need to remember to fix the the light, I'm gonna replace it with an LED. Maybe I should do that before soldering. This is the light bulb that was installed there. What is this? 
is it? Five volt. Fifteen milliamp. I don't know what is the polarity. Okay, so according to the schematics, pin three is plus five. So which one's one? So this should be pin three. Oh yeah, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, so this is three. So this is plus five, and so this is ground. Okay, I'm gonna mark it on the board. Okay, so I found a green LED and it fits terminals, good. So I'm gonna solder a series resistor and it doesn't matter which side the resistor is, really, it doesn't matter. So all I need is the series resistor I'm gonna use a uh, 330, should suffice. Okay, so no, I'm not gonna use 330. Maybe it's not gonna, the, the LED is gonna be too dim. So we're gonna use 220. 220 should give us a nice bright LED um, let me also make sure that we we're gonna have to trim terminals to match the height yeah so okay now I know Yep, perfect. Now we solder the resistor. And we trim the other terminal to match. That's it. Now let me just make sure the polarity. I'm gonna use my power supply. Let's apply five volts. And see the Polarity, make sure. Yep, so the one with the resistor is positive. And done. Now we can proceed soldering everything. Lots of soldering to do.
Cool, done. Okay. Reassemble the machine. I'm happy. I, I had to be a little or very gentle when I was cleaning the, the case because as you probably remember I had to glue this case all back together because it was completely broken when this machine arrived. The sound was uh, the those tabs aligning. It's nothing broken. At least I hope there isn't. Okay, now let's take a look. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, screwed everything back together before I perform a keyboard test but now it's too late as usual I forget about these things and usually I pay the price so let's connect power connect video see what happens Let's see if we can okay yeah let's power it up cool nearly this working it's not super bright let me turn off this light but at least it's working now the machine boots up which is good let me put this monitor here so that we can see what is happening. Is it visible? Okay, now it is, I guess. Yep. Let's see. One, two. Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's not working perfect. Well, okay, now it's better. And reset. Okay, oh, why the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. Oh no, S is not working now. Oh, maybe I did not solder it properly. See, that's what I said. Now I'm gonna have to disassemble the machine and check what is wrong.
Yeah, S is not working. Everything else seems to be working fine. Cursor up is not working. Maybe it doesn't. I am not sure. Um, okay, and control reset. Cool. Now I have reset working properly again. Okay, so I'm gonna have to disassemble and check the solder on this key. We have the keyboard here. S is this key. I don't know what is wrong because there it's maybe there's some cold solder here okay this time we're not gonna test we're not going to reassemble the machine. I learned the lesson. Let's try it. Power on. Okay, machine is up. And S is not working. That's not good. Yeah, S is not working at all. So I disassemble, disoldered and disassemble the keyboard again and remove the S key and um, I tested it and it seems to be working fine apparently but I'm gonna use some contact cleaning. It was failing. I hope this doesn't start trending and I end up with more failing keys. Yeah. Okay. Let's reassemble the keyboard. Maybe we could replace that resistor. But then what I have is a hundred ohms. So let's use, let's replace this resistor. 100 ohm ok 
Okay, installed. It was too easy. I need to resolder all these keys. Right? Super fun. Lots of fun. Okay, now the moment of truth. Oh, the LED is much better now. Okay, the machine boot up. S is working. One. Oh, seriously? No, the two is working. Okay. Good. Everything is working. Amazing. Now I'm happy. Okay. Awesome! It's working! And we have the reset control. Let me show you. Okay, it's so now we can control reset. LED replace the light bulb it's working fine we even with the light on yeah now maybe it's easier to see yeah everything is working now I'm gonna reassemble and we're gonna play a little bit with the floppy drives Control reset. Everything is working. Keys are working. Interesting. Why it didn't give me an error? Well, anyway, uh, let's try uh, a disc that I got from my friend Stuart. This is supposed to be a DOS disk. PR6. Oh, 
okay apparently it booted up let's see catalog yeah it seems to be working now let's try drive 2 catalog d2 yeah it is also working fine cool so everything seems to be working my next step now I want to try uh, a new way to or not a new way it's new to me I want to try uh, a method of creating floppy disks using disk images streamed via audio using the cassette interface that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the content and if you did please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye